Alright, I'm going to do um, <clears throat> some aesthetic Corsa I just got. Now you'll notice, like, what's wrong with the car? Why are the graphics so messed up? Well, yeah, I have my graphics sliders turned down to low, and my reflections turned off, and anti-aliasing turned off, and all that kind of stuff, because when I'm recording, um, it's hard for me to keep my frame rates up. And when I'm not recording, I can easily hold 60 frames per second, even with, like, most of the graphic options on at least medium, you know, some of them on high. So I'm sorry about that, you know, I've got a lot of my graphics turned off or on low or whatever. However, there's more to the story. <laughs> now you can change your field of view with the plus and minus keys. And, uh, you know, everything kind of looks okay even with all the graphics set as low as they go. Except, I have an NVIDIA 280 GTX M graphics card. Well, I have two of them in SLI. And my graphics cards are DirectX 10. This game is for a DirectX 11 cards only. And look at the trees. What the hell is this? Am I playing Minecraft? Look at these trees. See what I mean? Now, I was thinking, okay, is there something wrong with the installation? Nope. Is there something wrong with any of my graphics settings? Nope. Is there something wrong with my NVIDIA control panel settings? Nope. Went to Google, of course, started checking around, and it turns out everyone, pretty much, well, not everyone, but most people, look at this crap. See that? You can't even see the road if you're ever here, you know what I mean? But people that don't have DirectX 11 cards, this is what they get. Nine times out of ten. Now there's a couple of people who have some older cards that, you know, maybe they don't see this, but, you know, there's a lot of different cards out there, a lot of different drivers, and, you know, not all cards are created equal, and not all cards respond the exact same way. But this is what I get. Now I have the racing line on because I was testing to see if that glitched as well, and I've just been testing all day to see what glitches in the game and whatnot. Look, this tree over here, look at that thing. It's insane. So, that sucks. And there's no patch for it. Basically, the developers just said, Hey, what are you doing with those old prehistoric cards anyways? Get with the times. Buy a new card. We're not going to support DirectX 10. We never will. So, that means I have to pull three to six hundred dollars <throat> out of thin air, which of course I don't have, to buy a new graphics card that can handle DirectX 11. And until then, I'm stuck with this Minecraft shit. <laughs> um, but enough about <clears throat> that. Let's talk about the game. <clears throat> you know, you, this is neat how you got this. You just move your cursor over and you've got like all these different kind of gauges you can turn on and off. You can actually drag them around where you want them. You know what I mean? Anywhere you want them. You've got all kind of neat little stuff here, you know what I mean? Lap times, whatever, you name it. There's just a ton of little gadgets you can turn on and use and stuff and turn off and customize to your liking. I think that's really cool. Um, I like the Ferrari. I like the cars they have in this game. They don't have that many cars at this point, but I'm sure they're releasing more cars as time goes on, and also the game's moddable, so who knows what all cars will get. Um, <clears throat> I like the variety of cars they have, though. Beep, 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 horns, headlights, all those kind of things. However, there's a problem. I can't assign a button as my clutch. It only allows access as a clutch, so you have to have an actual clutch pedal. Now, I don't know if there's a workaround for that, but I haven't been able to figure out how to assign anything as a clutch, which means when I downshift, normally I would press a button for a clutch and, boom, you know, blip my throttle or whatever. can't do that now because I have no clutch. So that sucks, but look at this crap. Ah, how are you supposed to drive like that? You can't even see. See what I mean? And there's no support, and there's not going to be any support. They just don't care. They basically say, hey, get with the times, buy the latest graphics cards, or else, you know, this is what you're stuck with. Screw you. So, unfortunately, this is what I'm stuck with until I win the lotto or something and all of a sudden come up with a lot of money so that I can just buy some fancy $600 graphics card or something. Now, my laptop, 
I'm racing on Alienware laptop, Alienware M17X R1. It's the oldest, uh, pretty much, of the M17Xs. It, there's only like two different DirectX 11 cards that will fit in here and actually like work with the system with this old motherboard. You know what I mean? So I got like two options, and they're very expensive. So basically, I just need a, a whole new computer. It'd be cheaper just to get build my own desktop. You know like a 700 series NVIDIA or something like that, whatever, you know? <clears throat> I just don't have that kind of cash, though, you know? So that sucks. Anyways. <clears throat> I'm hoping, like, maybe there'll be, like, <clears throat> some kind of fix for this, you know? But I'm not gonna hold my breath. But in the meantime, it's it still feels good, and it feels good enough to where I'll actually play it anyways. <laughs> That's pretty bad, right? Even with this, I'll still play it, even with all these graphic glitches. Now this track has a lot of trees, so I came here to prove a point, you know, just how bad it is. But if I go to some of the other tracks with less trees around, then it actually looks a lot better and it's not that big a deal. <clears throat> Basically, I just can't race on Monza because this is some bull crap right here. Anyways, if anybody knows of a way to fix this, you know, put it in the comments below.